Hello, welcome to RC Jet USA. Uh, today I'm going to show you and explain how to set this uh, jet uh, for the first flight. Um, I had few flights on this jet and initially I had few hiccups, so I just want to make sure everybody covers most important things. Um, so let me get to it. In this video, I'm going to explain and show how to set up your new HSD F16 105mm jet for the first flight. However, I'm not going to cover most obvious things like gluing, testing, servos, etc. Uh, but most critical things that matters to your first flight once you have got everything else done as per the manual. The extra bit that I'm going to discuss often missed by everyone, including myself, when I did for the first time. Actually, I narrowly escaped from crashing. So I really don't want you to go through the same, so stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to explore HSD F16 105 mm jet and explain and show you how to connect throttle and afterburner lights. Configure Spectrum DX9 remote for F16 flight control system. Setting up electrical brakes, throttle cut with Spectrum remote to use with the jet. Verify initial setting of MFC 2085 flight controller. Check and verify main landing gear wheels and also correcting the CG with battery replacement position. First of all, we have to open the cover and gain access to the control system. Then remove the four screws as I have highlighted in yellow to access the control system sockets underneath. You only need to access the front side of the socket towards the nose. Please refer to the manual as per the diagram shown here to connect aileron, elevator, rudder, landing gear and your brakes connectors from your receiver. For throttle and afterburner lights, you need a servo Y harness coming from your receiver throttle connector. Please connect them to R2L and R6 as shown in the diagram here. If you have gyro, please follow the same steps as with any other jet, there's nothing different to it. To power up the receiver, first you need to connect the two 2S batteries to both the connectors and then press the white button and the plus button together for 3 seconds. You could see uh, lights blinking and servers coming up to live. Uh, servos in this kind of jet kind of scream on and off. I heard that is perfectly okay with HSD servos, so don't panic. And then uh, to shut it down, press and hold both white and red button together for three seconds, uh, as shown here. Uh, please check the throttle in the remote, as mine, I had to reverse the throttle for me to get it working. I believe with Spectrum remotes, we may have to do that for this particular jet. Test all the sur surface controllers to make sure they are moving towards the correct di direction. If not, you may reverse them appropriately. DX9 Spectrum remote controller. I have assigned a uh, three-way switch for my throttle cut uh, and also braking. So basically you can hear if I go to the middle throttle position. Cut. Braking. Throttle cut. Throttle cut. Motors armed. Throttle cut. Check the auxiliary 3 and uh, throttle position. Also see I have assigned a channel so let's go to the menu. Channel assignment. As you can see, auxiliary 3, I have assigned the key. Oh. 
switch G which is what I'm using for this also if you go to server setup you can see auxiliary 3 when I move the switch G it keep changing from 100 to minus 100 zero is my center point but if I go to throttle cut menu switch T again assigned to my throttle cut so position 1 and 2 both are on throttle cut uh, because when I hit switch position 2 in addition to throttle cut it will do braking as well throttle cut motors armed throttle cut braking that is the demonstration of what I have done with DX9 remote to enable throttle cut and braking using a three-way switch which is in my case G the auxiliary 3 out from the receiver has been connected to the brake signal input uh, which is R04 of the flight control. Please go through the instruction manual regarding panel operations. Once you learn, press and hold the white button for 3 seconds to enter the menu system. Then scroll to the menu item 9 as shown on the screen and go to the submenu gear lock and make sure it is in the on position. Do not ever fly and land with this option disabled, it will break your front landing gear. Also, please verify that the main landing gear wheel center screws are tight enough. If those come loose, as it was mine, the electric brakes cable will break. Also check all the black color screws around the wheel, as they also come loose. You may have to check all of them after each flight. I'm going to point the CG location as for the manual of this particular jet. You can see the red dot, the sticker, and also I pasted a sponge so that I can feel it. I highly recommend you do not to go by the manufacturer mark CG location because it is way off and it would be tail heavy. So please move your batteries forward as I'm going to explain and show you in my next video. Let's open the cover and get to the battery compartment. For this demo, I'm going to use two of 6X6050C batteries and two of 2S batteries that requires for the control system and lights. Uh, please have a note on the battery placement location. It is in the forward edge of the battery pad. This should be your first choice for the first flight in order to maintain a proper CG. Also, I have placed my two of 2S batteries forward so that it gives me a little bit of extra weight to the front of the jet because this jet by design is still heavy. And also I have tested flying this jet with three types of batteries, um, like the batteries that we have, uh, 6X6050C, 6X6060C, and also 6X5065C. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.